Hi, Tech Robert here. Um, got a little patient to deal with. It's my son's gaming PC. It's completely dead. So I thought I'd make a little bit of like troubleshooting video, and so you know how we're going to handle this. And as you see, it probably should be cleaned up a bit. <laughs> so anyway, what I usually do is to um. And I can just go through them, because uh, I can't show the cables behind very easily. But I mean, what I do is I first like check that there's no, like the display port cable hasn't been kicked out. And that the um, monitor has power. Yeah, that's called power. So the monitor actually comes on. And then what I, I, I do is that if, if your machine has a power switch, which is related to the power supply, then we find it. There. And then we turn it off for a while. I usually leave it for like 15 20 seconds. And the other option you can do is to can like pull the power cord out. So you can actually you know, be sure the power's down completely for like 30 40 seconds. Oh, and then we power on. And we hit the power button, it's hidden behind here, and then we see what happens. Oh, sorry, toggled <laughs> power. <laughs> the power is switched to on. Okay, yeah. So, as we see, it um, gives some sound, at least the fans start up. And um, let's see. And then we get this no signal on the display port. And then, uh, no picture. Okay, now we moved outside. We want to blow all that dust around. Inside, especially with the compress there. So I also took the monitor and keyboard out. I think I'll um, film that. <laughs> ah, okay. 
do extra protection to the home. Take the points out of that. Open the case. Smart spot. Okay, then you can want us to change up the individual model. I love this, so. I probably just check how much maximum we have. Whoa! Of course, one couldn't know when we when we started if this would actually turn. So this wasn't turned. That's like the system. Just clean the monitor and keyboard up and then we'll take it inside. See what we can find. Okay. Now we got the PC in five. Yeah, by the way, welcome to my um, garden virtual. YouTube studio, um, storage location. Uh, many different properties. Alright, by the way, we will now clean all the dust out, so it should be dust free. And now we're just going to see if it'll store. Now I connect it up with HDMI, it's using a display port connect. That's really solid, man. Please, really made a nice mess of the It doesn't even beat. I think it would give it at least something. But then, of course, if the graphics card is toasted, you won't get much. That's what you're looking Well, this shouldn't have onboard graphics card. Let's so give it a try.
Not even a thing. That's not on the monitor, at least. Whoa, 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 where the hell did that come from? Uh, okay. So from dead to a picture. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm gonna have to watch the footage and see if I plug the HDMI cable into that specific output. Did I succeed in waking it up then? But then of course this is an OEM machine so everyone doesn't have those lines. And of course why would it be beeping if it was thinking that it was waking up? Very strange. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. Odd conclusion to a video. It actually just seemingly just works. But anyway it was a total D-dust. I did, however, um, do the usual pressing in the RAM DIMMs and, um, yeah, could have been a memory slot issue, you, you never know. But anyway, I'm going to find a good mouse for this and then test it. Anyway, yeah, this was a bit of a troubleshooting video, if you uh, like this, consider subscribing. Um, the like button if you thought you liked it. Tell other people how um, to magically fix computers. Not that this was that much. But anyway, the next step would have been that I would have started to um, reduce to one, uh, one uh, memory slot in use only. Or reseat the memory. Yeah, reseat the memory first. Then go to one slot. Swap out the graphics card. I have another graphics card just to see if it's the graphics card. Processors hardly ever go bust. And this is an ASUS tech unit. I, I don't know if the power supply would be suspect. There would be, of course, the um, the motherboard itself. Could have, could have a motherboard and chips that relate to that could have been toast. And then, of course, it was to check that the fans are actually um, running all the all the fans. I don't know if the graphics card fan is running or will be running. So I have to put some load on it. And then we found out that this mouse wasn't working. It has nothing to do with the machine. Okay, we'll just end it here, and um, hopefully it continues working. I don't actually know how I got it, but I'm going to um, just put in the display port cable just to see if that, okay, that also works and then the mouse check and then put it back together again hand it back to my son and hopefully he'll be happy with it okay, I'll see you in the next one